And we see the consequences of the, the ignorance of this issue in these resolutions passed by innumerable parliaments around the world. Now, your logic would tell you, would lead you to the question, what do these people really know? What does a congressman or woman from California or Vermont know about late Ottoman history? Right? It's ludicrous. Right? We know that to study what happened in the war would actually mean looking at the military record for a start. Even if you don't want to accept the argument from military necessity for the relocation, you at least have to know the background. You've got to go into the documents. And those, I think the official army collection of documents runs to something like 28 volumes. Now, who, who's read those? Do these congressmen and women, have they been through these documents? Of course they haven't. Where are they getting their material? They're getting from the lobby. Right? And thus you get the kind of resolution that was produced by the House Foreign Affairs Committee, which is full of wild, inaccurate claims. You know, they deported two million people, Armenians, in the First World War. They all use the Hitler quote. After all, who now remembers the Armenians? That comes up all the time. All the time. And yet, the research has shown that the versions of that speech made by Hitler before he invaded Poland, where he has allegedly made that remark, the versions of the speech, the three versions accepted at the Nuremberg Tribunal after the war, contain no reference to the Armenians. Where does that reference come from? It comes from a version produced by an American journalist working with the Associated Press. Where did he get it from? He seems to have got it from um, a group of generals inside Germany who were plotting against Hitler. Okay? Right? So, you know, if the officials, the official transcripts, except at Nuremberg, do not contain that quote. Yet it is used all the time, as though, yes, he really did say it. When there's a huge question mark over whether he said it, it says, you know, and they all repeat it in their speeches in Congress, in other parts. After all, look what Hitler said, you know, they all say it, you know. So, how to turn all this around is extremely difficult to see, you know. And when you've got prestigious university presses publishing books, not checking photographs, not checking sources, when that should be their prime responsibility. What's going on here? What's going on here? I think a lot of it comes down to received truth. That we know that, yeah, of course, what the Armenians say was true. And once you actually take that view, you're not really looking at your source material. You're not checking, oh, yeah, of course it's true, so publish it. Right? Something like that is going on, you know. And this is just academic irresponsibility. Complete academic irresponsibility to do this kind of thing.